Welcome back to KSNT News. Here's your Tuesday morning rush. Topeka City leaders are criticizing the financial news website Business Insider for listing Topeka as the most violent city in Kansas. The data came from a study conducted by the FBI. A key point, though, that has some people concerned is that Wichita was not included in the data. The Greater Topeka Partnership issued this statement here saying, quote, We were disappointed by the use of outdated statistics as well as citing sources that describe their own lists as not complete. Topeka Police also released this statement here pushing back against this ranking. You can find these up on our website, ksnt.com. Today, Governor Collier plans to sign the state's school funding bill. A piece of that bill would set aside money for students to take the ACT and other assessments at no cost. This is just one way the state is looking at career readiness. Included in the more than $520 million school funding bill is $2.8 million for students to take one ACT test and three work keys assessments. Beginning today, well, keep a closer eye on your water. If you live in the Manhattan area, be aware that the fire department is going to flush out water lines from now until the fall. This is all a part of the annual fire hydrant maintenance program. The fire hydrants are flushed out to make sure that everything is working okay. If you do notice any yellow or rusty colored water in your home, just run your faucet for a couple of minutes until it is clear. Here's Jared now with more on your Tuesday morning. It's tax day, meaning it's the last chance for you to file your taxes today if you're not interested in doing an extension. And so if you need to file your taxes today, what you'll need is a state ID, social security cards for everyone in that tax return and all of your tax documents. If you miss today's deadline, there's an automatic six month extension, but you'll have to be sure to file for one by October 15th. And according to the IRS, today is also the last day for you to file your 2015 return. It is cool this morning, but not as chilly as yesterday. And yesterday, the best we could do, mid and upper 50s, and that was with sunshine. Now, we're going to have some clouds drift through today. So I think partly sunny. The breeze may slowly pick up, but instead of northeast, mainly southeast. And it could go at 12 to 25, but we're trying to hit 70. That's as warm as we get, though, for the entire week, running for a seven to nine day period, which means cooler weather's on the way. Also, a chance of rain could show up before at least too long. And we'll examine that as we wrap up this program in just a minute. Stick around.